kind of is um, a lot of little pockets of different styles of music. Uh, down in New Orleans, I mean, uh, it's known pretty much for, for the New Orleans jazz scene, but there are some blues players in New Orleans. Uh, Baton Rouge is basically a, a known as a blues town, although, although there are some Zydeco and some rock players and country players around in, in the Baton Rouge area. Zydeco is nothing but blues with the... Uh, uh, now I know that with a square, yeah, and a oh, yeah, I know, I know. And that's because of the cultural aspect, right. where the people right. live and how they do things. And in Lafayette, well, it's basically a, a Zydeco Cajun uh, area that way. But uh, people like Rudy Richard, who came to Baton Rouge from Opelousas, and uh, decided, well, I play great guitar. I'm going to learn how to play the accordion. First of all, I made a guitar. And uh, put some strings on a piece of wood and start plucking, plucking around. And it started sounding pretty good. And I said, well, this is not going to make it. So I had a good friend of mine. <coughs> uh, he told me, says, man, we need to, after I made it, he said, man, we need to try to get you a guitar or something. So we did. I, I'll tell you what I've done. I went and picked a little cotton. It's uh, not really, not really a romantic blues, in my opinion. Uh, it's got some humor, where Delta blues, what they call it. You got a lot of slide guitar work and, 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 and stuff like that. In Texas, you got more of a rocking, uh, uh, upbeat thing happening. Hard in Chicago, it's kind of a mixture of all that, since it's the big blues melting pot. And I got this guitar and brought it home. The first thing my mother said, you think you're going to be able to do anything with this little guitar? I said, Mama, you just wait and see. Uh, how, how hard is the competition, you know, competing with, like, block, the blockbusters, the CD stores, and, and all the bigger, bigger stores? Well, it's, it's absolutely, it's, it's difficult, really, to, to compete with them. The reason I'm, uh, I guess, I, I, I'm dedicated to staying is because I was around when all of this stuff was, uh, was being played on the bandstand, most of it, all, especially the old stuff. Because I was in the band business myself for, for like, like 40 years. I had a band, my, my own band, for like more than 25 years. So we talked with yeah. Chuck Mitchell last night, and he said that uh, that y'all had like like a, something going on a while back. And I was under contract there with uh, Buddy Stewart for a couple of years, you know, maybe five or six years. And uh, we did a lot of traveling right around the 50-mile area. Well, yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I have produced... Chuck Mitchell. I'm, 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 I wrote his first song on uh, both sides of the record, and I produced it. That's uh, Brown back in 1965, but then I was, I actually started in the business in 7, 1945. Uh, you ain't tell me nothing, huh? You ain't tell me nothing, huh? You ain't tell me nothing, huh? Uh, <laughs> I must tell you, what people are saying, but I'm before Tavis time. Yeah, it was before 45. He well, said he did it in 50.
Stick of furniture in your house, they see. Now you got that gorgeous TV set, that cabinet. But it ain't sitting in the cabinet, it's sitting in the tree. <laughs> Somebody yell, Timbo! And the tree keep tumbling down. Whether it's the door or a chair or the floor, the roots are still in the ground. Everything that's made of wood was once a tree. And don't you get the wrong idea, ain't nothing free. You got collectors by the score. They keep a knocking on you, but they really not knocking on your door. They knocking on the tree. Somebody yell timber, and the tree keep turning it down. Whether it's the door or the sort of floor, the root sod still in the ground. Six feet deep. You're really not buried in the coffin. You're buried in the tree. <laughs> Somebody get a timber. And the tree keeps turning down. Whether it's the door or the chair or the floor, the red sauce still in the ground. And don't start bringing me down. Yeah. <laughs>